vegetarian logic. This is what it's all about, right here. That's what it's all about. Now, what's going on when people eat meat? It's a lot of fat in it. You got the fat around your little steak here. Even if you cut that off, you still got all them little lines. All them little lines are still fat. Them little white lines. That's still fat. Which clogs your arteries up. This is how big the hole is normally. When your heart pump, the blood goes through your arteries easy. When you take this fat, and you eat it, and it clogs around your arteries, you see, the hole is smaller. Now, it's harder for the blood to go through, which raises your blood pressure. Is the pressure is higher because the blood is being pushed through this little tube. So it's your heart is working more and raising the blood pressure. Now, when you're younger, you actually can handle um, portions of animal products because your metabolism is higher. Your metabolism, your whole body metabolism is a chemical process of how you uh, metabolize food, how you utilize it, how you use food. But as you get older, your heart slow down naturally. So it would be beneficial to be vegetarian, definitely, when you hit 50. Once you hit 50, it's time to really give this some thought and, and um, go vegetarian. Um, you can get by with having meat, some wild caught meat once a week. What would help your metabolism is if you walk or run a mile each day. Another thing that's beneficial to the human body are phytonutrients. Phytonutrients are plant chemicals. I think in Latin, phyto means plant. In Latin. But plant chemicals are good for the body. They're all not understood yet, but that's no reason to get rid of them. Let's leave those phytonutrients in them plants so we can stay healthy. Your body is slightly more on the alkaline side. And when your body is on the alkaline side, it fights diseases. Generally, plants are alkaline based. Even your citrus fruits, like oranges, lemons, grapefruits, and stuff like that. They alkaline, they turn into alkaline in the body when they're metabolized by the body. When your body is on the acidic side, it's not good for your bones. Acid don't burn. What it does is it disassembles. It takes things apart. And acidic foods actually use your bones up. People don't notice, but meat is acidic. Bread is acidic. Beans are acidic. Drugs are acidic. Generally, this is a general guideline of alkaline and acid based things. Here's a couple more things that brings your body to the acidic side, lowers your pH. Carbonated water and sugar. If you're going to eat meat, at any age, I would recommend, highly recommend staying away from processed and farm raised animals. They got GMOs, they are GMO, 
what that is is they mess with the genes genetically modified organism they mess with the genes which are the proteins and that's bad for your kidneys it's bad for your whole body because your whole body is made up of proteins so it's bad for everything in the long run and these processed farm raised animals they put chemicals in there you know some of the meats they glue together to make it look like you got a bigger piece they got heavy metals in there because when they process it is metal machines processing this meat chopping it up and grinding it up you know and the medical mem heavy metal particles make people stupid that's obvious like lead poisoning them chemicals make people sick and them chemicals give people skin rashes um they also put antibiotics in these animals because they treat them so bad they get sick growth hormones well Pretty much every guy in America knows once you get like 50, you got to go for that prostate gland ex examination, you know, because the prostate is swollen. Look what we have here, swollen. So best to avoid those. Um, cancer is something that grows out of control in your body. So if you put growth hormones in the meat, guess what? You can get some of that. Another thing that gives people cancer that they don't know about is burnt diesel fuel. Definitely, definitely, definitely gives people cancer. It's burnt diesel fuel. That's that black smoke coming out of trucks. To get all of this crap in your body and in your system, they actually sell this real cheap. You can get a whole bunch of this fish for just a few dollars. So watch out for that fish right there. That's this board quantified. Let me hit this real big mystery real quick. You know, got everybody taking these cholesterol lowering medicine and drugs. Wouldn't even call it medicine. Here's the deal, man. Cholesterol is made by your body. Mostly your liver. Now, cholesterol is in every cell of your body. Let me show you why. Simple and straight to the point. Here's a plant cell. Listen to this. Knock on wood, that's a plant cell. What cholesterol does is it makes the animal cell flexible, like a muscle cell. Okay? Cholesterol is in the wall of all your cells so that your cells can be flexible so they, they can do like this or do like that when you flex you know when you flex your muscles your cells bend like that see it's an animal cell can flex from being round like this till if you pick up a weight your muscles need to move. They need to flex. See? That's what the cholesterol does is it keeps this wall from crystallizing like that. Homogenized milk. You know, the milk with the red cap. Homogenized milk. That's your bad cholesterol because it's processed milk. Hydrogenated oils. See that oil drop? Hydrogenated oil. That's your bad cholesterol because it's processed oil. You know how they mix people up with all this cholesterol mess, selling all these cholesterol lowering drugs when all they got to do is just take you off of this stuff here. You know, they mix people up with these letters. I don't know if these are the right letters. You got them L. LDL and, and, and HDL, HDL stuff and, and LCD and LED. Uh, you be thinking you buying a TV or something. You know what I mean? So that's really 
what's going on. Homogenized milk. Back in the 60s and before that, the fat in the milk used to float up to the top of the milk, right? But it got spoiled and rancid and it rotted quicker with the fat up there like that. Because it's, it's next to the air and there's germs in the air and bacteria, so it got rotten, rotten quicker. So what they did was they put the milk in the machine and they spin the machine real fast, a blade or something, and what they did was they broke the fat molecules up. You know, I don't know about no molecules, but you know, if you got molecules and stuff, boom, you break them, and now you left with all kinds of scattered pieces after you break the fat up, boom, these particles is what scar your arteries and add to heart disease. So, the homogenization process is where you get the heart disease. Now, the hydrogenated oil. What they do with this oil is, is something like this, but what they do is they, uh, they add hydrogen molecules to it like this, boop, 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 with some kind of gas process or something. And what that does is it makes the oil sticky. That's what it does, it makes it sticky so it can stick to the scars in your arteries. You know what I mean? Process and processed. This is the secret. Don't ingest these processed oils and fats because when they make this stuff sticky, then if it's sticky, then it sits in your arteries. It's saturated fat. Now, all of this stuff is saturated fat. Saturated fat, saturated fat, and the meat. Them, them, them little white, white around the meat and the white lines in the meat is saturated fat. Everything is saturated fat. Distilled water is the best water you can drink. This is the water they use in the hospital when they go through dialysis and all kinds of stuff like that. You can easily, easily replace the minerals back in your body with good nutrition, with good, with good food. Raw, leafy green vegetables are extremely powerful for your diet. Um, kale, baby spinach, you know, kale and baby spinach also has omega-3s in it, which is good for your brain. You know, the omega-3 fatty acids, you don't have to eat no farm-raised uh, salmon to get omega-3 fatty acids. You can get it right out of baby spinach. Cooked food is processed food. When you cook food, you're breaking down some of nature's chemicals. So just remember that cooked food is processed food. Basically, vegetarianism is just a label. Let's explore. If you ate meat in the past, then you're not a vegetarian. You just ain't have meat since you last ate it. If you ate bread or cereal, you're not a vegetarian for the simple reason you can't process bread or cereal without having insects parts in there. And insects are animals if you look it up. If you metabolized your own fat tissue at one time, okay, that's self-explanatory. If you had butter, which comes from cows or whatever, or if you ever ate one animal cell, then you're not a vegetarian. So, this last one here, if you ate one animal cell, actually pretty much uh, excludes almost all animals, probably all of them, from being vegetarians. 